Uh, yeah, man, you know what's so crazy? I was watching last night after the Indiana game. Uh, they showed Ja Rule to, to the national championship. You know, they talked about they showed Ja uh, going to the Final Four Ja your junior year, and then they showed Ja senior year and that whole process, you know, that road to the championship. Um, and for me personally, man, you know, I was at the math at the time. I was a junior, senior watching that, that whole run. Like, what was that? What was that process like, man? Because obviously I, I, I didn't have a chance to experience it, man. But just to just to go through that, man, being on that first team to ever get to the Final Four at Maryland and then to end up going up and winning the championship, being the first, being on the first team and, and a big reason why Maryland won the national championship. Like, what was that? What was that feeling like? And what was that? What was that whole journey like? If you kind of could explain it to me a little bit, because like I said, I've experienced it, but you know, um, it was very surreal. You know, we being the first Maryland team, you know, all the great teams before us to reach a, a Final Four. Um, it was amazing. You know, just to just to be in the Final Four with a team like Duke, um, Arizona. Who was the other team that was there that year? Was it Michigan State? Um, uh huh. I think it was Michigan State. Was it Michigan State or was it Florida? I can't remember. I'm, but anyway, um, just to be the first Maryland team to reach the Final Four, that was a uh, a feat that we really, you know, felt good about. Just to be on that stage, to be on there with those elite teams, to show that we belonged. Um, and we had a devastating first loss in the first game. You know, being up twenty-two. And, you know, things happen, you know. Uh, I don't like to make excuses, but, you know, everybody who saw the game was at the game. It was just <laughs> – it is what it was. We lost being up 22. And that, that really yeah. fueled us for the next season to really come back and, and, and make our championship run. We, we refused. It was championship or bust after that because we were so close and we felt like we shouldn't have lost that game to Duke and Minneapolis. So – that that season before that loss really fueled us to win a national championship. And you know, me being from Silver Spring, Maryland, um, being a Maryland native, me and Juan Dixon were the two guys that were really, you know, from the state of Maryland. Uh, we just had a lot. To, uh, we had a lot of weight on our shoulders because you know, when we go to the barber shops, when we go hang out with our friends and around the way, like we got to hear everything. And you know, we had a lot of. We had a, a big chip to prove because, you know, we lost to Duke and, and a, a way we should, we should have, we felt like we should have just won that game, but we didn't. So to come back the next year with that determination, I mean, to show how resilient we were, um, I mean, even to this day, it's still a, a surreal cloud nine feeling that, that I'll never forget, you know, just because, like I say, I'm from the state of Maryland, so I, I, I took a tremendous amount of pride and winning the national championship for the University of Yeah, man. <clears throat> like I said, that was that was huge, man. Like I said, I, re I, I, I literally relived that moment last night, man. And I know where I was at, you know, when I watched y'all, when y'all won the championship. I was in New York, man. I was actually right beside Bracey Wright, who went to Indiana. So we was watching the championship <laughs> game together and just oh, watching yeah. that whole process, man. We talked trash to each other, man. But, man, I was excited for you guys. Because, like I said, I, I started to know you guys. I was coming up there a little bit, spending time with you guys, man. But just to, you know, sometimes be at practice or to watch pickup and see how hard you guys were working and the, the, the extra work y'all put in, you know, like in the, the type of relationship y'all had. Y'all was like – y'all was brothers, man. And I, I seen how y'all lived and, and how y'all held each other accountable and the work y'all put in. So just to relive it again last night, man, it was, it was a beautiful thing, man. And I was just, you know – like I say, when I know when I was going to talk to you today, man, I wanted to get that experience and, and to see, you know, what that feeling was like. Like you say, it's being from Maryland and then being to win a championship at Maryland, being on that first team, man. That's that's something, man, that you can tell your kids about, man. And now your name's in the rafters, man. And, man, it's, it's, it's like I said, like you said, man, it's a surreal feeling, man. So it's, it's, it's great to hear stories like that. And I'm pretty sure a lot of other people love to hear those type of stories as well. Of course, Jack. we were a very tight-knit group. You know, our team, uh, we're still close to this day. You know, we have a, a group chat that we text on, you know, that we, we keep in touch with. Um, but we were a team that was just, we were all about winning. We were all about the team. It wasn't, you know, no egos or anything. 
Um, we went out and did what we had to do to win, and that was the most important, you know, just making sure that we got the job done. And that's why we're so close to this day because, like I say, we were tight-knit. Uh, we were held everybody responsible, accountable, and that's why we had the success that we had, you know, just being a team that didn't have any McDonald's, All-Americans, a bunch of, you know, underrated guys coming in. Nobody really knew about us when we first started at Maryland. Um, just to excel the way we did each year and get better and better into a championship team. I mean, that's that's what you that's what you come to college for. Right, exactly. Like, and that was, that was another thing, man. Y'all didn't have no McDonald's All Americans on y'all team, but then y'all excelled and, and beat teams that had a number of McDonald's All Americans on their team. But it's just like you said, it just go to show you, man, that the will didn't have any uh, NBA guys that end up going to the league from that team. So, man, that's that's huge, man. And y'all showed a lot of players, a lot of teams, man, that 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 think they need McDonald's All Americans to win when they really don't, because y'all was a perfect example of that, you know? And then you guys still went on and had great careers after Maryland. <clears throat> uh, most definitely, you know, that's a um, a big testament, a big shout out to uh, Coach Gary Williams. Uh, Coach Williams never liked to coach the big all-time all-star players. He likes the gritty guys, you know, the under the radar guys, and he knows how to get the best out of his players. Um, and that's just a, you know, a testament to him and you know how good of a coach he is. And he got the best out of us year after year and made us better and, and groomed us into a, a championship pedigree team.